Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 25th. Now, keep in mind that the timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you, okay? So, let's just see what comes up. today. Oh, that one fell out. Strength reverse. That's weakness. Ego. Strong control. Death reversed. Death reversed is holding on to something that is already over. <sighs> struggling. Somebody is struggling to let go. The strength reversed. That is weak. It's ill. It's it's doubtful. It's low self esteem. Lack of self confidence. Getting old, getting, uh, holding on is getting old. Three of Pentacles reversed. Three of Pentacles reversed is lack of teamwork, lack of togetherness, lack of respect. And I saw that here as well. We have, we have a situation here where there's no teamwork, there's no respect and there's control issues okay there's some sort of control issues we have we have a person that is weak this person is uh, held back by fear extremely fearful about an ending about moving on really really struggling um, and they're in their ego they're in their ego right now there's no togetherness there's no teamwork there's no working together um, there's no compromise there's a lack of respect and it could be even a lack of respect for oneself but whoever they're working with doesn't respect them as well there's no teamwork here. Ah, Six of Swords. Now that is moving to a better place, moving on, taking a new approach, leaving something behind. That's what's coming. We do have somebody that is... is struggling to go in a new direction they want peace they want serenity they want something better but their mind and their ego is in the way of them doing so ah, queen of cups reverse like and we've been talking about this this is it's kind of heartbreaking i feel like it's sad uh, there's some sort of the this is a heartbreaking ending it is heartbreaking somebody wants to move on they want to um, but they don't have the strength this is like a cowardly situation I mean the strength reverse is a coward unfortunately it is somebody that uh, doesn't have the strength or the willpower or the um, confidence to move forward but it feels like they're really thinking about moving forward with the six of swords but there's some sort of they're being held back be, maybe by another person that is very emotional this person is extremely emotional this person may cry a lot you know or have a victim mentality or maybe revengeful and this may be stopping this person from moving on it feels like we have a third party situation here as well I think we have somebody that is I feel like there's some sort of emotional attachment you know with an individual that you know things that there's there's no togetherness with this person 
but this person uses their emotions to keep somebody stuck you know it's an emotional attachment it's like uh, yeah it's an emotional attachment anyhow uh, I feel like uh, there is some sort of uh, strong control we have a person that has a strong hold on another person and it's be it's an emotional hold you know this person has a victim mentality you know um, but anyhow um, and, and, and uses their emotions to keep somebody stuck this is juggling going back and forth we have somebody here and this is a decision this is a choice this is a change this is a realignment this is, it's like the universe is trying to realign somebody but we have and we have an individual that has been juggling they've been going back and forth they've been juggling life as well they've been dealing with two situations there is a third party situation here and they've been struggling with making a decision but I feel like this, there's a, another step that is about to be taken. I think that we have somebody here that is about to take a step in a new direction. Um, Night of... Knight of Wands. And the Knight of Wands is act now, think later. So the advice is to act now, think later. Um, somebody needs to take action. They could be, they could be deciding to take, this is a decision. Somebody is going to be taking action very, very soon. This is somebody that, um, is going to face their fears. They've been held back. They have been held back by a controlling individual. This person is, is, is very controlling. And they've been thinking about moving on, and, but they've been struggling with their courage to move on. And, it, and maybe this person has made them feel inadequate, has, has stolen their... Uh, view of themselves. We have an individual here that has used their emotions and has... It feels like this person has... Uh, been very hard to deal with been been very causing trouble in the mind playing mind games kind of like you know saying oh you're not good enough you you um don't take care of yourself you know or nobody else is going to want you or you know saying things like that i feel like we have somebody here that has been playing with somebody's emotions and that's a form of control. It's a form of manipulation. So I do, I feel like we have somebody here that has been holding somebody back from uh, serenity and peace and harmony in their lives. Whoever they, whoever they have held back ha no longer has the self-esteem or the courage or the confidence or the willpower to step outside of this situation, even though they are thinking about it. Um, and it's because they're dealing with an individual who uses, and I say it a lot, emotional blackmail. They use emotional blackmail to keep this person stuck, you know, and instills fear. So we have somebody, I feel like that has instilled fear in another person, fear of not being adequate, fear of not being good enough. I have to stay here because it's kind of like nobody else will want me, that kind of thing. It's emotional manipulation. It's emotional blackmail, you know. Um, and it could have all, and somebody may, and, and with the three of pentacles, it may have to do with money. You know, somebody may say, oh, you know, if you do that, it's going to cost you money or, you know, they may have used money as a form of manipulation with the three of pentacles and the two of pentacles, you know. Anyway, I do feel like we have somebody here that is facing a change with the two of pentacles. That is a change. It is a realignment. This is a geometric power higher than ourselves that is realigning somebody to take action. It's basically saying it's time for you to let something go, make a choice. You need to make a choice, you know. 
you have a golden opportunity in your hand, what do you want to do? But you're going to have to let something go, you know, and holding on to this dead end with that death card is getting old. You know, there's no love here. De somebody is dealing with an individual that is emotionally unavailable. This person um, is, uh, they may, you know, their words, they're not all that they're cracked up to be, okay? What, what you see is not what you get, all right? This is somebody that... Um, you know, may look and they may say things, but their actions don't match up with their words, okay? They may speak of love, but actions speak louder than words. So anyway, I do feel like we have a heartbreaking situation here where somebody needs to move on, but they have been struggling with their ego. And, and that is a card of ego. And I feel, and it's a card of fear and courage. Somebody's been struggling with their courage to move on. They can't find their courage um, or their strength or their willpower. Um, and I feel like it's because they've been emotionally uh, drained or manipulated by an individual who has made them feel like, you know, they're not good enough, that kind of thing. Anyhow, I do feel like there is action that is about to be taken with that Knight of Wands. That is somebody that is going to do something. They are going to make a move. They have definitely thought about it but the knight of wands is typically impulsive you know i'm i gotta do this this is this is fast I, this is lust it is passionate it's a passionate opportunity i do think we have somebody that this is an arrival it is a arrival and it is an arrival of somebody that is um very adventurous this is somebody that is exciting that is uh, making a move so somebody is definitely coming in they are making a move they are it feels like they're changing something with that two of because two of pentacles is a change this is somebody that is trying to find balance they're 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 they are ready to adapt they are ready to be flexible this is somebody that uh, can be flexible and is i feel like this person is uh coming in really really fast after they have been uh held back i think they were held back by fear but this is a fearless individual now the knight of wands now we could have somebody here that has been feeling inadequate They've been feeling inadequate. They've been feeling sad and alone and uh, waiting for a new beginning. Now I'm telling another story. Um, they've uh, moved on from a situation. Um, they've been going back and forth. They've been juggling life. They've been uh, dealing with a lot of busyness in their life. They have haven't been working with anybody. They've been... Uh, heartbroken in the past or they've been really really sad or something like that and somebody is coming in that knight of wands is an arrival okay it is some sort of arrival it is something happening fast it is lusty it is exciting this is a change it is a realignment okay you're going to need to adapt to a change okay that's what this is so I just told two stories okay on one hand we got somebody that is held back by fear in a situation or lack of courage or whatever you want to call it with an individual that doesn't love them it's unrequited love okay it's all there is to it but this person has an emotional hold on them and they can't leave or they're thinking about leaving but they can't leave because maybe it's because of money it does feel like it's because of money or stability or something but anyway I do believe that there is somebody that is coming in. This person has good intentions. They are following their heart. They are given to uh, follow their heart. This is somebody that is romantic and loving and kind and gentle. And they have some passionate desire for something more. So I do believe that there is going to be some sort of arrival or advance or something like that um it could be dealing with a water sign pisces cancer scorpio a fire sign aries leo sagittarius 
Um, we have everybody here. I mean, we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. It doesn't really matter. But we do have uh, a change with that Two of Pentacles. Things are about to change. There's going to be an entrance. Somebody is going to be taking action because that is what their heart wants. This is somebody that is looking for love that uh, is given to uh, put love as a top priority. So I do believe that somebody is, is going to be following their heart in a new direction. And it is making a difficult choice. It is definitely a difficult choice because there it's, it's like... Um, it's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking to leave a situation that, you know, at one time there was togetherness. At one time there was teamwork. But there's no teamwork anymore. There's no togetherness. There's no... I, I, I feel like there's been a lot of ups and downs, you know. And, I mean, that happens in relationships anyway. But I do feel like we, we need... So we have somebody here that needs to find their courage and their confidence and their willpower to move on. And I think they are going to. But this is going to a better place. Um, moving to a better place. Uh, there could be an incident with an individual that pushes somebody forward, that causes them to leave. I see traveling, leaving. Okay, with both of the, uh, with these three cards, somebody may be leaving. This could be an incident. Um, there's been some sort of stagnation and it has been fear, it has been ego, and it has been emotional turmoil. Emotional turmoil. You know, we have somebody here that has been um, staying put in a troubled situation because of fear. No doubt about it. Fear of not being accepted. Fear of... And because whoever they're dealing with has, has made them feel like they're not good enough. Anyhow, action is about to be taken. Um, this person is coming in. They are coming in uh, very, very fast. You're going to need to adapt very quickly to a change. This is somebody, somebody that is... Uh, very feeling, that is looking for love. Very charming, very romantic. Uh, heartfelt looking for love so somebody is coming in looking for love all right they are or this is an offer that is if it's not a love situation this is somebody that is very kind that is very emotional that is intuitive that is um, caring that is making a decision this person is making a decision um based on their gut based on their heart based on uh, oh it's love it's it's based on what they see it's based on their feelings it's it's a feeling decision it's like they're going to go with their feelings. This is somebody that is very intuitive, you know, that is making a decision. And it has to do with uh, heartfelt feelings. This is, I feel like we could have somebody here that is in declaring their intentions, intentions their, or their feelings. They're making a move. They're, they're searching for something more. Um, I, there could be some... Uh, well, this is somebody that is is very caring, that is understanding, that is using their emotions, following their heart in a new direction. That's what's going on here. This is a new direction. Get prepared for a change. There's been no togetherness. There's been no teamwork. There's been no communication or no cooperation or no compromising with an individual that doesn't reciprocate, okay? And things are about to change really, 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 really fast. We got somebody here that needs to take action right now, and their gut knows it. 
and I feel like they're about to, okay? They're about to uh, leap. Good luck. 